Number 23, number 23 on page 196 says the increase or decrease in the price of the stock uh, is assumed to be equally likely in 50-50. And we're also going to assume that each day's price is independent of the other day's price, which is questionable. What's the probability the stock will show an increase five days in a row? So well, we don't have too much time to talk about it, but basically you can think of this example. You're picking five coins, flipping five coins, and what's the chance of getting the stock going up, 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 five days in a row? That's similar to getting five heads in a row. So we're having five coins, and the number of successes should be five, and the chance of a success is equal to a half, because the book tells us it's 50-50, which is also not necessarily true. So in order to solve the problem, you can, you can do it two ways. You can tell yourself, what's the chance of getting five heads in a row? It's a half times a half times a half times a half times a half. So one half to the fifth power will be one fast way of getting the answer, which comes out to 1 out of 32, which is about 3%. But doing it by the binomial formula, we have five coins, or five trials, and all five of them got to be heads. Head, head, heads, heads, heads. The chance of a head is 50%, and the chance of getting five in a row is to the fifth power. What's the chance of a tail? Also a half, but what's how many tails are there? Five minus five or zero. Anything to the zero power is equal to one. So this comes out to one. Five choose five when you play around with the factorials and use some common sense would realize it also comes out to one. So after all is said and done, it comes out to one half to the fifth power, which is 0.1 out of 32, which is around 3%. So that's an easy one, unfortunately. I would like to give you a more. Than some of the other examples were too complicated to really, like this long example. But I want to point out one last detail in the remaining 30 seconds before I dismiss the class, which is some of the examples are going to ask you, what's the chance of getting more than two heads. Let's say more than let's say more than more than three successes. Well when it says more than three, it says more than three, right? More than three. Well more than three, which is mathematically more than three, really boils down to getting exactly four or getting exactly five. So essentially, what you gotta do is you gotta apply the binomial distribution twice. Once for the four and once for the five. Well the five we did already. Well, we, how would you get the, and then of course you add them together, because remember it's four, something plus something is the answer, so you simply add them together. So what's the chance of getting four? Let's do that quickly in the remaining few seconds. That's going to be five choose four, 0.5 to the fourth power now, one minus 0.5, the chance of, it, of the stock going down, to the five minus four power, or the one power. So five choose four comes out to five, 0.5 to the fourth power comes out to one out of 16, And how much is a half to the one power? It's a half. So how much is five times one out of 16 times a half? It's five out of 32. And then, of course, this is, this is five out of 32, and this is one out of 32. The final answer is six out of 32. So I want to point out to you, when the book says more or less, you can get the answer by adding them together. And it,